Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Dave. And in this Magento Basics tutorial, you're going to learn how to change the list slash grid mode for category pages in Magento. That's right. And with that said, we're going to jump across to Magento and we'll catch up with you there in a few moments time. Now, Dave, the best way of explaining this is by actually showing you. And that is we've been and come across to one of our category pages on our Magento website. And we are using the Ultimo theme, the responsive theme for Magento. But regardless of what theme you're using, typically on the right hand side, you're going to have two buttons where it says view as. And then we've got a grid icon and then a list icon. So what we're going to do, we're going to look to see what these two icons do. And maybe you want to set one of these as default. So maybe you're not happy with the grid layout and you want to go to the list layout. We'll show you the settings in Magento to change this page. And if you want to disable it and just always have it as list, we'll show you how to do that. So with that said, by default, Magento shows products in a grid layout. So Dave, on our screen here, we've got some snazzy trousers and then we've got lots of rucksacks, <laughs> but they're in a grid. OK, they each live in their own little block. Now, if we click on to the list icon on the right hand side is that these products will now turn into a list. And can you see what's happening here for a list? They're one product per row, whereas before we had three per row. We've now got one per row and that's the difference between grid and list. So maybe you prefer this list layout or maybe you don't even want this list layout at all. Hang on, we'll go and show you the settings and it's dead simple to change. So if you jump across to your Magento administration area, go to system and then click on configuration down at the bottom of that menu. Now, Dave, this setting's hiding and we need to scroll down and we're after the catalog area on the left hand side. So I'm just going to pause and highlight this on your screen for you. So where it says catalog underneath catalog, which is a little bit confusing there, isn't it, Dave? <laughs> it is a little bit, yeah. Catalog, catalog. Yeah, catalog, catalog. Okay, so click into catalog and it's the first section at the top called front end. And in this very first setting, can you see it says list mode and it says grid as our default. And then you've also got list as an option. That's why we've got two buttons there. That's why we've got the grid where it showed as grid is by default. And then we had the list option in here. But if I drop this down, if you only wanted it as list only for all the category pages on your Magenta website, then you would choose list only. And the same is that if you only wanted the grid layout and didn't want to give your customer the option of showing a list format, then you could choose grid only. Or if you wanted the reverse of what we've got right now to show the list by default, but allow your customers to see the grid layout if they prefer it then you can set that option there press save changes on the right hand side now while that's saving dave i am actually just going to go one extra step which is to clear out our magento caches and the reason why i'm doing that is because you may have a full page cache extension on there and you get of course you may now jump back to your magento website and you go it's not changed okay so we are going to show you one extra step which is to go to system down to cache management then on the left hand side, click on select all. So all the options are ticked. Then on the right hand side, press submit. Okay, it will take a few moments to go through. So if we now go back to our fashion category, now I'm just going to cut that off the end there, Dave. Okay, so it doesn't force it into the mode. Okay, into list. So by default, when we go into a category, in fact, let me go and choose a completely different category just to make the point is that now our Magento website is set to be in a list mode by default down here. Can you see those icons have now swapped ordering around? But your customer can also go back to the grid mode and view your products in a grid. So we hope this video tutorial has been and helped you. And from myself, Matt. And from me, Dave. Cheerios. So from myself, Matt. And me, Dave. We hope that you found this video tutorial helpful. If you have, then let us know by leaving a thumbs up on this video below or subscribing to our YouTube channel. We believe to use Magento, you don't need a degree in nerd. And we've created you over 300 step-by-step -step video tutorials at understandinge.com to help you. In these tutorials, you'll learn how to use Magento with no prior knowledge. 
how to build a fully responsive Magento website for just $99, which is about 65 quid. How you can use Magento to sell on eBay and Amazon with M2E Pro. And you'll be joined by over 6,000 fellow business owners just like you. And the best part is, it's free to join. So for myself, Matt. And me, Dave. We'll see you there. Cheerios.